All right, guys, welcome to the show. I am super excited for this episode. We're talking about three running backs that I absolutely love for fantasy football 2023. And we are just over a week away. Looking at the calendar right now, just over a week away. We're almost there, maybe a little bit more than a week, but we are so close to that NFL draft. And after that, we are in full force fantasy football season it is coming guys it is going to be here before we know it all right so in this video i want to talk about three running backs i love that you know when you when you hear the names like oh thanks captain obvious they're pretty high the consensus rankings but when i tell you these names you got to understand there's a lot of guys that are higher than these guys and that are going to potentially bust like currently just let you know these aren't the three running backs i love but I'll tell you right now, Christian McCaffrey sitting at one, Austin Eckler sitting at two, Josh Jacobs is sitting at six, Pollard, Tony Pollard is a top 10 running back on the Chiefs' rankings as of right now, which is crazy because he finished in the top 10 last year, but understand, this is copy and paste BS, you think the Cowboys are going to let Pollard be their their top running back, their, their RB1, no way, the guy was drafted in the fourth round or something like that, like four or five years ago, so he's not the guy, they got Stevenson at nine, so when I give you the three running backs I love, you'd be like, well, Joe, yeah, yeah, you know, they're pretty high up, yeah, but I'm telling you that be careful with some of these guys that are currently in top 10, you got to dance around some of it, last year, example, I told you, avoid Jonathan Taylor, why? Because he finished on top of the year before. 18, what do you have? 18 touchdowns. I think he had a couple receiving, 332 attempts, 1,800 yards, right? I said avoid him. He's not going to be the first running back you should pick up. Sure enough, he busted. So I'm telling you again, similarly, you got to be aware. You got to, no one to hold him, no one to fold him, and you got to, you know, anticipate instead of just copying and paste, right? So three running backs I love. Before I do, guys, get into this, make sure you guys secure the 60-round draft, which I've linked it below. This is the game changer, guys. Sleepers, breakouts, optimal players drafted each round. The first ever only video trading to give you all the optimal players drafted each round. This is a must-get to dominate your league. And again, you'll be light years ahead of the competition. Light years. I mean, I live and breathe this stuff, okay? And you, I know you love fantasy football. Don't get me wrong. But I do this for a living. I look at it every single day. This is going to give you an advantage over your league mates who are probably casuals, or even if they think they know stuff, they're probably just following the consensus because that's like 99% of the information out there is copy and paste ADP BS. 60 rounds of Game Changer. Leave them in the dust this year. Pre-order. I've put a link here below. Okay, guys? Now, let's dive into this. And also, hit a thumbs up here, guys. It really helps the channel. It takes two seconds of your time. Smash that thumbs up and drop a comment below. Very important, guys. I want to make this interactive, guys. Number one podcast here, so we want to make it super interactive, guys. Show the line mentality. Drop a comment below. Let me know which running back that you love this year, all right? Let's dive into it. First running back that I love, I didn't love him last year because, again, he was coming off a pinnacle year. We just talked about him, is Jaw the Taylor. Why do I love Jaw the Taylor? Okay, he finished 33rd last year. Now, the consensus are saving face, and they've got him in the top 10 again. I don't think they got him at, like, number, I don't know, six, seven. They love Jonathan Taylor again, okay? Why they love Jonathan Taylor is because they're saving face from last year, okay? This has nothing to do with the fact that they think he's going to have a bounce back year, okay? Maybe they do. Either way. Fact of the matter is, last year I said avoid him coming off a pinnacle year. This year, why do I like him? Now, understand, they are looking at a rookie quarterback, which, again, may hinder or help Jonathan Taylor. But one thing's for sure is that I don't think they're going to be drafted a running back. So the volume will be there. Now, 332 attempts. In 2021, that went down to 192, but he only played 11 games last year. Listen, Jonathan Taylor is in for a contract year. This is his year. He will shine. He will thrive. And he's going to come back to a bounce back year. Understand they need, uh, you know, the quarterback situation figure out. They need wide receivers. They need to figure their stuff out. And I think they will. I think they will in uh, you know in, in the draft a little bit, but they're going to be a little suspect, obviously. But that could be a good thing because they're going to lean and rely on Jonathan Taylor, who is in for a contract year, who is the workhorse guy. The volume will be there, the goal line work will be there. They just got to get to the red zone. They got to get to that goal line. That's the, that's the secret. And if they do, he's going to be the guy. So I love Taylor. He's a little bit better valued than last year, but the upside is there. All signs pointing, minus, you know, the new offense, all signs pointing 
to him having a amazing year. Jonathan Taylor is a running back I love. And again, the Kashyyyk's are kind of still riding him, saving face from last year. But again, I, I like him better than CMC and Eckler. I'll tell you that. Second running back here, okay? Absolutely love. Let me give you some details about him. The guy is Brees Hall, currently sitting around 13th on the consensus, so he's outside the top 10. Now, you always get concerned. He tore his ACL on October 23rd of last year. There's always that concern of like, okay, they tore their ACL. The first year back is always a question mark. Now, quote, Robert Sulla, head coach, said he looks fantastic. That is a good sign. I was watching some interviews with Brees Hall as well a couple months ago. All right. Um, and he looked good. He actually said the rehab is going well. He's looking good. This was a couple months ago. We still got like four or five months left till the season starts. Apparently, he is ready to go in the season opener. Now, they do have Michael Carter there. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the draft, who they're going to acquire, what type of improvements they're going to make. Is Aaron Rodgers eventually going to end up on the Jets? Um, you know, they got good. They got a good team. Again, my question mark is, is he going to be 100%? I'm going to say he's going to be 90%. But he's young. He's like, what, 21 years old. And he played seven games last year. In those get seven games, averaged 5.8 yards per carry. He had 463 yards on the ground on 80 attempts. 5.8 yards per carry. And he made it look relatively easy. Okay? The talent is there. The youth is there. The upside is there. Coach says he looks fantastic. We're kind of fortunate that he got hurt early in the season last year. Like, it wasn't early, like September, but it was like, it wasn't December. It was October. So can you imagine? Oct uh, we got November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. We're looking at like 11 months of healing. And he's young. He's strong. He's dynamic, right? Tons of time to heal. So that being said, he's probably, if you go robust RB, he could be coming off in the second or third round as an RB2. With massive top five upside, I'm all in on Brees Hall. But understand that there is a chance that he may not be 100%. And that's a risk you got to run. But Brees Hall, love him this year. Love the talent. Love the upside. The Jets are making strides, man. They've made some good moves. They've acquired some good offensive weapons. Could be solid, right? And number three here, again, make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know which running back you love. Love to hear your feedback. And make sure you get the 16-round drafts, which I've linked it below. And head on over to, head on over to thefantasyfootballcounts.com. Pre-order now. Uh, third guy here, <clears throat> absolutely love him. He's a consensus top 10 now. He's like a top five guy. It's Kenneth Walker. Now, this is a guy that they're riding this year, but hated last year. They didn't like this guy. They loved Rashad Petty. Every single one of you guys, you could sheeps his sheep you, said that, because <laughs> sheeps his sheep you, said to draft Kenneth Walker, uh, uh, Rashad Petty. I was the only one that saw Kenneth Walker to be the talent that he is. He was a second round pick. And then Rashad Petty sucked. He sucked his whole career. He can't even stay on the field. Kenneth Walker finished 18th last year, but he didn't get going till in and around week six. He had 26 attempts in week 16, and then 23, and then 29 attempts in week 18. So his attempts were really skyrocketing near the end of the season. The talent is there. The youth is there. The upside is there. Averaging 4.6 4 yards per carry. 1,050 yards on the ground last year on 228 attempts. Listen, he is the guy. They're situated there with Gino Smith. They've got some weapons. they got a good coach at Carroll. He was a second-round pick. Kenneth Walker, I like well ahead of CFC, well ahead of Eckler, and I feel more secure getting that young dynamic talent that we haven't seen the ceiling of. He got started in week six, people. He's got a ton more ceiling. Whereas Eckler, we've seen the ceiling. He's a beneficiary of a good offense and injured wide receivers. And that's why the Chargers don't want to pay Eckler. Christian McCaffrey played 10 games in 2020 and 2021 combined. Had a pinnacle year. His last hurrah was last year. You're telling me Eckler and CMC are one and two? They're going to get hurt. And people aren't seeing this. They were just copying and pasting from last year. I'm taking my chance on Walker. Love the upside. Love the youth. I just love him. All right? So, Taylor, Brees Hall, Kenneth Walker, as part of a robust RB strategy. I'm never saying just put all your eggs in the one running back, you know, basket. You got to be diverse. You got to go robust RB because there's a ton of depth at wide receiver. 
and I teach exactly who to get, when to get them, all the optimal players in 60 rounds. So make sure you guys secure it below. Smash the thumbs up. And again, drop a comment below. Let me know which running backs you love. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this mini episode. We're getting close to the season. Fantasy's around the corner. Subscribe, thumbs up, and make sure you go robust, RB, or bust. All right, guys? Appreciate it. Subscribe. I'm out.